The firm is going to produce the amount of output where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. Right? They want the extra revenue they get from producing and selling a unit to just be offset by the extra cost of producing that unit. Graphically, we know that the demand curve that the perfectly competitive firm faces is a horizontal line at the market price. We also know that in general marginal cost has this shape. So our rule says they're going to produce a level of output where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal and that happens where those two curves intersect. I'm going to call that Q star. What we need to keep in mind is if the market price is less than the firm's average variable cost then the firm's actually going to temporarily shut down and produce output of zero. We'll have to look at the average variable cost and the price wherever MR equals MC to determine this. So here's our graph again and here's one example. So first let's find where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal. I'm labeling that Q where MR equals MC. Now at that level of output I need to find the average variable cost. And in this case the average variable cost is higher than the price. I'm just going to bring that over to the price axis and call it AVC star. And I see that my average variable cost exceeds my price so I'm actually should be shutting down as a firm and the optimal level of output is actually Q star. Here's another example. So first let's find where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal and label that. Now I'm going to at that point find where I cross the AVC. Now in this case I'll go down to the AVC curve and over and since price exceeds average variable cost where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal that actually becomes my Q star. 